Hello everyone. We are trying something. The mic should be here. Yeah. We are doing something. So, we are going to be reading Reddit. You're going to be looking at Cosmic Tree and listening to us talk. It's going to be kind of like a podcast. Alex, the tree reminds him of me. Makes me happy because it's pretty. Because it's rainbow. Because rainbow. Gay. Got it. Okay. Cool. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so here is Rylan, Alec, <laughs> TJ. It's basically a podcast. Basically a podcast, but we're testing something. I do have an idea of an actual podcast. I will talk to you about it after it because we don't want to spoil things. Mm. But yes, this is our dear idea of a podcast. Have a nice poll. Hope you guys enjoy. We're going to read Reddit. Ask Reddit. R slash ask Reddit. People who haven't pooped in 2019 yet, why are you still holding on to last year's shit? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. Somewhere out there, somebody has made the biggest poop of the year, and they don't even know it. <laughs> That's true. I made the biggest poop yeah, of last obviously. year right in between Christmas and New Year's. First time I could say that I filled the bowl to the waterline. <laughs> what? And then someone replied to that saying goals. No! <laughs> that's a go to hospital! That's I've been bad I've been pissing out my ass all fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Oh shit. God. That's not funny. <laughs> Have you got okay, 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 segue, segue. What has been cause we're talking about shits now? What has been the most unpleasant one you've ever had in your life? I have an answer, I reckon mine trumps you guys. Oh. I got sent to hospital. Because I had toxic shock. You know what? <laughs> From shitting! Yes! <laughs> you know what, well... Genuinely, I went into the ER. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm gonna read. Yeah, I went. I went to ER, and they're like, so you need to poop. Yes. And you can't. Yes. And how does it feel? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10? 9. The only reason it's not 10 is because I'm not, like, bleeding. I'm like, okay, um, you might have toxic shock. I'm like, okay, I had to get something shoved up my ass to lubricate it so then it can come out. A nurse literally went... When I had my broken back, I went to go to the toilet. It, I was in a full back brace. Yeah. My broken back broke. Oh, yeah, that would hurt. I went to shit. I dislocated my hip <laughs> while shitting. <laughs> The most Nothing fun. I say is going to win. <laughs> What's yours? What's yours? I, I don't have one. I, I have pretty normal shits. No. I've, um... He shits daily. Oh yeah, normal. same. It's normal. That's <laughs> normal. It's normal. I shit once every two to three days. Well, that's also normal. It depends. It's also it... normal. If it's any more, then that's a... Uh, um... Yeah. See, I get I used to be really I, I used to be once every like four or five days and I was like, okay, that's bad. Yeah, and I, I get constipated really easily and I only shit like once a week sometimes. Same. Anyway, um, but no, I literally went to hospital and it was so funny because that nurse was like, if you have to shit and you can't hold it, just shit. But she was I, right there, so it's like you are fully ready to get covered in shit. I've shat every day this year. Okay. <laughs> so much. To keep people context in case you were watching this in the future, it's the third of January. <laughs> um, what if God came down one day and said it's pronounced John, then left? <laughs> <laughs> God, it's you! Uh, John. It's John. You've now ruined this whole experience, I'm living. <laughs> yeah, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> like, 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 have we all been calling me God? What? It's John. I specifically told them to say John. What the hell? That's a skit idea. That's a skit idea. That's a scary idea. You know, it's a good shit and you guys will never experience it. What? Shitting while you're on your period. It is the best thing because your cramps disappear and you get like all those blood clots out as well while you're shitting. It's so good. I've, um, the best experience I've ever had, <laughs> experience I've ever had was I like, I did like a stretch and just along my vertebrae. <sighs> that was nice. That's fair. I'm not allowing her to crack her back because of Oh no, Back I don't, I don't crack my bones, like I can't voluntarily crack my bones, I do it randomly, and this is like the one time I've only ever had it once, but yeah. I was like, man, my back's really stiff, I did a stretch, and I was like, oh, I could've came on the spot. I didn't, but I could've. What if Earth is like one of those uncontacted tribes in South America, <laughs> like the whole galaxy knows we're here, but they've agreed not to contact us until we figure it out. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. That's literally just men in black. I'm, I'm literally, the aliens would probably come here, see that we're racist towards people with different colour skin, they'd be like, 
huh? And just leave. They'd be like, well, fuck you guys. I don't well, want to be here. Fuck you guys then. You guys are worried about black people. We're blue. <laughs> We're pink, purple, and orange. Um, <laughs> dabba dee dabba <laughs> die. <laughs> also, what the fuck? What are these colored flags? You welcome us already? We've got a blue, purple, and pink tribe. Without, what do you call yourself? Bisexuals? What the fuck is that? Without saying what the category is, what are your top five? Pardon? Without saying what the category is, what are your top five? Oh, okay. Uh, let's go with... I'm really worried. Um, let's go with... White... Black, green, orange, red. It's a nice top five. Of what? <laughs> That's all. That's what all it is. <laughs> wow. Wow. Some of these are boring. Ah, yeah, oh, never mind. <laughs> what? Steve Irwin has you pinned down in a headlock. What cool facts does he tell the audience about you and your habitat? This is how you make them come. <laughs> well, this wild island. What a fucking weak, pathetic little cunt. <laughs> oh, wow. He, get it over this guy. <laughs> he said he's going to work out, but he never fucking does. He outdoes it all by drinking at night. <laughs> Let's poke him. Whoa, his belly recoils. <laughs> That's what Steve Irwin would say about me. What about you, Alec? What would Steve Irwin say about you? Crocky, I think it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it has eaten in days. <laughs> I just love how fat hasn't eaten in days come. <laughs> this is how you make a come. <laughs> Fucking hell. I can imagine you being the person if Steve Irwin was still alive, you'd be like, but... Christmas 364 days away. People who already have the decorations up. Why? <laughs> well, yeah. Because uh, we haven't taken them down yet. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas was a few days ago. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Christmas. Okay. Well, that's the wrong reason. <laughs> You're a wrong reason. We need to read Reddit stories. <sighs> look up Look up just the normal Reddit stories. There should be a, there should be a sub... Reddit of just normal Reddit stories. Reddit? Normal? Or should we go relationship advice? Yes. Sure, but last time we did that, it, it led to very much another therapy session in the confidentiality car. Do we want to do we're it? We're alright. Okay, we're alright. Right. We're alright. You know okay, let's do it then. Top of oh, I feel like Smosh now. <laughs> I, listen, I listen to their Reddit story podcasts as I'm driving to Tilly and back on Sundays. On Sundays, like after a Tivoli show, um, it's always on. So I'm like, okay, drive back. This to it. This go. one has an update. <gasps> go. All right. Say, say, say the first one. Then say the, the the update. Obviously. I love ones with updates. I know they're great. Me, thirty-two female, husband, thirty-six male, became a robot, and I don't know how to help him. Huh? He became a robot. Is that like a pinky thing? Yeah. Or? What? I need to go to the original. Beep boop today. boop boop. Suck it. <laughs> The title sounds insane, but here I go. We've been married for six years and have... Oh, years. 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 And have two kids. I'm pregnant with a third. My husband works from nine to five, comes home, does his chores, plays with our kids, talks to me for a little bit, and then goes to sleep. But he doesn't seem to enjoy doing any of it. Like, this whole thing is a big chore. He used to be this goofy guy who smiled and told jokes all the time, but I haven't seen the man smile in months. Yeah. It's not like he's neglecting he's his friend. duties as a husband and a father, but he acts like it's just that. Duties. Right, uh, duty. duty. <laughs> like hanging with the kids and me as a second job. I'm grateful for all he's doing, and he makes all our lives so much easier. But it's like he's constantly on the clock, and I think he might be depressed. Yeah, yeah. he is. Probably. <laughs> he very much is. I tried asking him... If he was doing okay, and he tells me that he's doing fantastic. But I know he's not. That's the line he uses at work when customers try to make small talk and ask how he's doing. He doesn't take any time for himself, he doesn't take any breaks, he stopped playing games and stopped watching TV. He just does what I feel he thinks needs to be done, and I don't know how to help him out. 
I didn't need this comment in here. Our sex life has become one-sided. Well, yeah. We do it frequently, but only because I initiate frequently. Okay. Even if he doesn't seem in the mood, he'll do it. Like it's his responsibility to make me happy. It feels like he isn't there in the moment, like his mind is wandering the whole time we're intimate. And that, to me, feels worse than getting rejected. Well... Fair enough. But the comic didn't enough. really need to be there about No. It. Okay, he is depressed. <laughs> he is depressed. I don't know what's going on, and I don't know how to help, because he won't let me in to anybody else. He seems fine, but I know something is wrong, and I don't know how to fix this. Right. I miss my husband, the guy who complained and told jokes, not this robotic shell that looks like him. Edit. Alright. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers! I didn't expect this to blow up. I want to thank all of you for the advice. Blah, blah, blah. He comes home from work in a couple hours and I'm going to sit down and talk to him. I'm going to tell him how I feel and I hope that together we can find a solution that turns him back into the man he once was. Okay, so then before we read the update, are we going to make some... That was some... the update, wasn't it? No. No, we're going to read some predictions? Yes, what... it's the update. Okay, okay, don't read ahead, don't read ahead, don't read ahead. Don't read ahead. Okay, are we going to make um, some assumptions about what's going to happen? I'm making an assumption. Sure. They're divorced. <laughs> They've been divorced this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> they're, gonna be, they're gonna get a divorce or they are in the middle of one I reckon he's just found out he's gay he doesn't know how to tell his wife so he's just kind of going on with the flow but he's like that's fair huh what's your prediction what's your prediction uh, my prediction is we're gonna throw up sometime during this recording session <sighs> okay <laughs> hey everybody here's the update Holy I shit. wrote this a couple of days ago but couldn't post it because it was too soon my husband came home at around 6 o'clock and after he had something to eat, I took him to the bedroom to talk. I sat him down on the bed and told him I was worried about him. I didn't exactly how to phrase, you missed him though, how to phrase my worries, so I just showed him my original post. When he finished reading the post, he started crying, like full on crying. All the years that I had known this man, I had never seen a tear roll down his eye. I held him for a few minutes until he could recompose himself and he told me everything. He told me that the world was in a shitty place right now. Yeah. And that we're bringing a child into a stressful time. He said when I became pregnant, he felt he had to step up. He needed to take care of things because it was his responsibility. He said that the weight of carrying the family was so much harder than he anticipated, so he thought if he doubled down, he could get through it. But the more he tried, the darker the tunnel got. And eventually he couldn't see an end. That literally is the reason why I don't want to have kids. He's depressed. He yeah. said that he's constantly drowning and the only breath of fresh air is on the car ride between home and work. He said that sometimes the stress is so much that he throws up but doesn't tell anyone and instead keeps going with his day. He then pulled out a pack of gum from his pocket and said, this was for when it happens. Damn. Same. I asked him why he couldn't tell me any of this, and he said he didn't want to burn at me with the truth. This goes for a long time. Are we about done? Yeah. That, that I don't feel, I don't feel like we don't need to. Do it. Man. Damn. Well, that that's the reason why I don't want to have kids, because I don't really want to bring kids into this world. Ah. Uh... That's the face of, oh shit. We really could have just gone through my TikTok. My TikTok is just Reddit at this point. Oh, fun. Like, What's... you know those Reddit things with like, yeah. people playing games or like, yeah. making food in the background? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Go on. My girlfriend told me she was with a friend, but that friend was with me picking out an engagement ring. Can I read this? <gasps> Can I read this? There's oh. enough dead as well. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Awesome. All right. God, this is a doozy. I swear my life feels like a movie right now. Sorry for the weird formatting. I'm on mobile and this is my first time posting on a sub like this. I, 28 male, am planning on proposing to my girlfriend for three years, 26 female. Now I suck at picking out jewelry. I'm the type of guy that doesn't see the problem with heart-shaped jewelry. Seriously, why is it considered so ugly? So every time I want... Every time I want to buy something... I lost it. You lost. Every time... So every, t every time I want to buy something for my girl, I usually consult one of her, one of our mutual friends. My girl's best friends are all friends with me as well, and we, and we all get along well. So asking them for helping picking out jewelry is something I'm used to. When it came time to pick out a ring, I consulted my girlfriend's best friend, Justine. 
Just fake. Feed. Yeah, I know, right? Fake names. Justine and I are quite close, and she knows my girlfriend better than anyone, including me. So when my girlfriend went out to visit her sister and baby nephew, I invited to Justine over to the house to help pick out the ring. Justine and I looked through a few catalogs, but decided it was a it was a dead end. It would be better to get to go to professionals at jewelry stores. However, I didn't know when my girlfriend would be coming home, so Justine and I thought of a clever text to gouge how much time we had. I asked her when she'd be coming home as I was ordering takeout and wanted to know when to tell them to have the food ready by. That's a very smart, yeah, mm. that's a very smart text. She responded by saying it would be a few hours. She met up with Justine to go shopping. Now, <laughs> obviously this took me by surprise since Justine was standing inside my house. I showed Justine the text and she looked as confused as I was. It isn't out of the ordinary for my girlfriend to meet up with people out of the blue like that for shopping, lunch, etc. She's a very spontaneous person and loves making plans on the fly. So ordinarily, I would have believed this text in a heartbeat. However, obviously, this had to be a lie. When she came home, she acted completely normal and I played along, but it's been really hard to act like everything's fine. We got takeout, ate together, and cut it on the couch after. So far, so far, she's caught on a little that something's been upsetting me, but I just can't tell her that. that what? Looking at her kills me. I don't know what to do. My girlfriend and I have zero trust issues and we tell each other everything, so this lie is killing me. I want to ask her about it so bad, but if I tell her I knew she was lying, I'd have to explain why and I really don't want to do that. What do I do? I know she lied to me, but I don't know how to confront her about it. Should I just forget it? This won't stop gnawing at me. Please help. Edit. I'm sorry for the lack of responses. It's been a hectic day and there's a lot of comments. Thank you for th to everyone who was commented so far. I appreciate them all. Edit too. Sorry again for the lack of responses, guys. It's really been a crazy day. My parents are moving and I've been helping them. Also, I've never experienced this many comments in my posts in my life. I'm going to, I'm going to talk to her tonight once we're both finally settled in after such a busy day and I'll update tomorrow. So, assumptions. She's... Oh, she's cheating. she's cheating. Oh, she's cheating. It's so obvious. There's another option of she's getting him something. There's another option of she's getting a whip a ring. Like, she's gonna propose. That'd be pretty cute. But she's cheating. Let's be she's honest. Cheating. She's cheating. Cool. Oh. Yeah, if you just go back, it'll take you to the update. Now you've gone to a different post. There you go. Yeah. That's the update. That's the original post. No. This is the update. Oh! That's what I was telling you. Hey guys, oh my god, where to begin? My last post got way more attention than I could have ever imagined. Suffice to say, it was a tad bit overwhelming. Seriously, the amount of people begging for an update was a bit dehuman dehumanizing in a way. Like, I wasn't a person going through something, but more so a story. But I understand. Haha. -ha. You put it on the Yeah, internet. I was gonna say, hold on. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so, so much for all the support and wonderful comments. I got a lot of great advice that helped me tackle the issue head on. I also got a lot of really, really kind comments and messages. It was awesome. I also got a lot of comments that made me realize how toxic this sub can be. There are, there were many comments that just said things like, she's cheating, it's over, and don't even confront her, just leave. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> She I mean, might, we she, said the same thing. She, yeah, I know. But like, that's because we've seen how many Reddit stories are. Right? We're like, that's the most go-to thing. Can you just imagine? Can you just imagine going to a friend after like like, 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 can you just imagine one of you guys, like one of you guys tells like one tiny white lie. That one tiny white lie. One of you goes to me being like, I think they lied to me. I just go, oh, fucking leave him. <laughs> can you just imagine that? That'd be stupid. If I ever do that, slap me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and... Sorry. That's alright. And thank you to the people that told me to hit my girl. Thank you to the people that told me to hit my girlfriend. Told me I was an embarrassment to my gender, and best of all, told me I should encourage an affair because it would lead to great experiences for me later in life. You gave me a good chuckle. Oh, stop whacking me in the face. Yes, you. your girlfriend lied to you. That you hit her. <laughs> what the fuck? On the update, I decided to confront my girlfriend. I thought about using some of the lies people suggested, but they just wouldn't make sense. To say I ran into Justine somewhere, well, I told my girl I had to stay home and do stuff around the house, and that's why I couldn't go with her to see my... Sill. To say Justine was picking, was helping me pick out jewellery, it doesn't make sense for her to come all the way to our house to help me pick out a piece of jewellery, unless it was a serious piece of jewellery. Like an engagement ring. If I just wanted to get her a piece of jewelry as a gift, I'd ask her friends for suggestions to ask them to send me pictures of jewelry she might like. It all happens over text. None of the excuses made sense, so I decided to be honest. 
I basically just said that I knew we'd been thinking about marriage and she'd probably know a proposal was coming soon, so I invited Justine over to help me find her the perfect ring. And that so happened to be the day that she said she was going to see her, so what's the deal? Oh, okay. She immediately started grinning like an idiot and prodding me about proposing in the ring, but then we got back to onto the topic of where she had she was and she confessed that she was what was really doing. No, she wasn't cheating. And no, she wasn't picking out a ring for me. The amount of times that was commented was crazy. So some people are dog people and some people are cat people. Well, me, I'm a snake person. She was getting him a snake. It's yeah. He's gay. I, <laughs> I grew up with snakes my whole life, but I never felt I was able to get one because my girlfriend has always been uneasy about living with a snake, which I completely respected. Also, the process of buying and raising a snake is very different than, than that of buying and raising a dog or cat. It's quite complicated. So you can imagine my surprise when my girlfriend showed me a picture of her holding the cutest Kenyan sand boa I've ever seen. Needless to say, my girlfriend was going to surprise me with a snake. We're picking her up next week. Let me know if you want a pet text. She's so cute. I definitely did not expect this and I feel bad for ruining the surprise, but oh well, life is good. Is so- there a picture of it? Ah, uh, no. Uh, ah! Alright. Should we read one more? Yeah, of course. Editor, editor, editor. Editor, do you guys really award me 130? Do you want to read? <laughs> Hold on. Editor, did you guys really. Did you guys. Did you guys really award me 130 snack awards? I love Reddit. <laughs> That's great. Alright, I'm reading one. Alright, I'm reading one. TJ's next. reading one. Do I require to move closer to the mic? I should be able to pick you up. You just have to be a bit loud. I can be loud. <laughs> ah! 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 Nice! Nice. What is that face for? Nice. Nice. Yeah, what is that face for? Something's oh, wrong. I can original. feel it. It's the original. If it's deleted, is it, is it on Am I the Devil? No, I want the original. Next, next episode, we have to read Am I the Devil. Because those are fucked, but funny. No, am I an asshole is better. Yeah, like am I an asshole? Am I an great, but am I the devils are just like, this guy's a fuckhead, like, oh my god. <laughs> no, it's better to go asshole. Again, yeah, okay, yeah. All it's right. easier to gauge, and it's also like, True. we're gonna find something that's yeah, Congratulations, like, everyone, we're doing am I the asshole next episode. Uh, Stay tuned. Will I find the not update? Oh no. person I was hoping could dumb swap my shift isn't able to do it. <coughs> Go on then, read it. Me, 22 female. Fiance, 25 male. Want his father to check my hymen tomorrow night before I get married. Hymen? What's that again? The thing that is, um, pretty much says you're a virgin. That's what breaks when you have sex for the first time. My fiancé proposed to me about eight months ago. We decided on having a relatively small wedding, which is in two days. Everything was going great. He seems absolutely perfect, and we are very much in love. I am a virgin, and so is he. He wanted to save it for marriage, and I wasn't fussed, so I agreed to saving it. He has told me earlier that in his family, the father checks the virginity of the bride the night before the wedding. I laughed this off as it seriously sounds like a massive joke. No, turns out he was dead serious. He wants me the night before to open my legs up in a small ceremony type thing so his dad can check me while him, his brothers and uncle can watch so they know I am still pure. Come here, Shani, then we just... <laughs> I told him, fat chance I'm going to do that and he was begging me to go through with it and how important it is to him. He said he knew it was slightly embarrassing for me, but his mum did and it will prove how much I love him slightly. and that I have nothing to hide anyway as I am still a virgin. I left and he was crying. It was very dramatic, to be honest. I want to call off this whole wedding because of this and never talk to him again. But at the same time, it's only one thing and other than that, we are genuinely perfect for each other and I don't want to spend my life with anyone else and it is important to him and his family. What the frick frack do I do? I'm currently at my friend's house and I might stay here for the night. Tomorrow would be our last day as an unmarried couple and I'm straight up panicking. Idea. Get a female to do it. Can't. So do you you know of this kind of thing? It's Catholic. 
Uh, Other idea. He does it by himself. It's not how it works. It has to be a dad. It's, okay, it's not... People have taken some word, some phrases within the Bible to say that you have to be checked before marriage to keep your virginity for marriage. And it was done as a ceremony with the males in the husband's family. His father, which will be that person's father-in-law, does check it, and the other males see it to prove that it is done. And there's meant to be no other females in the room. Mm. Okay. So, then don't have the uncles and all that be in the room then as well. But, but it's, also... It's how it goes, though. It's to uh, show that, yeah, okay. like, prove I Okay, I understand... I understand both sides of this. Because it's a Catholic thing. Your full family's done it. Yeah. You want to do it. It's understandable. I wouldn't call off the wedding over this. Just try to suss it out. Just try to... Talk about it. Talk about it. Calling off the wedding and never wanting to talk to them again... That's a leap and a half. I don't think that's necessary. No. Be a normal civil human and use your words. Yeah, use your words. Just tell your husband. T- tell your husband you're not comfortable with this. And you respect that it's a Catholic thing and you respect that your family's done it, but she doesn't feel comfortable about it. If your husband does love you, then he will say, okay, we won't do it. That's completely... That, that's what would happen. Because just because... If, if you're worried about, like, if I don't do this, I'm not going to go into heaven. It's... You should probably be focusing more about other things. Worrying about trying to get into heaven, not that you didn't do one thing. Right, do I also... Oh, it's an update! Update! update. Cool. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Didn't know, didn't know. Yeah. First of all, thank you so much for the replies. I didn't think that it was a gap. So, Peter Guy pretty much read all of them. Special shout-out goes to the person who says that this is fake solely on the fact that I write like a man, whatever that means... Also, I thanks... Right, like a man. I write like a man. Punctua- thanks, punctuality? No. Thanks for the gold and silver. It's appreciated. Although, if you want to spend money, give it to a charity or something. I went and talked to him this morning. I told him that his father is not going to look at me, and he needs to respect that. He was adamant that it needs to happen and accused me of about lying about my virginity. I was trying to be calm and rational, but he was not having it and just became more and more angry. I told him if he really loved me, he would stand by me on this and tell his father no. To which he slapped me and said he didn't need to prove anything. So I ended it and left him. I am currently back at the friend's house being miserable and eating pizza, which is pretty fun. So, yeah, thanks, everyone. No. See. Now he's turned to an arsehole. He's an arsehole. <laughs> now he's turned to an arsehole. Yeah. I was going to say before I read the update that it is a thing that all Catholics do. Otherwise, the wedding will not go ahead. That's because it's sucky. to prove that you are still a virgin and you've saved yourself for marriage. Okay. And if you can't prove it to your husband and his family, they're going to assume that, like, infidelity and you're not a virgin. And so they'll call off the wedding because you're not pure. Okay. That does suck. But now you just turn into an arsehole. It like happened that. a lot in, like, olden Okay, but now that no, but yeah, he didn't just have to. But he didn't that. need to do that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think anyone was still practicing that. Apparently, but so. apparently, people. Uh, apparently, so. Anyway. All right, let me look at that pressure, you guys. <laughs> just imagining an old guy. Just. Yep, yeah, he's a virgin. I can't quite see it yet. <laughs> he shoves whole face in there. Oh, right, there it is. Chest with tongue. Ah, uh, virgin. <laughs> Tastes like a virgin. Tastes like a virgin. What does a virgin taste like, Dad? You know virgin olive oil. Who do like that? <laughs> That's right, there's virgin in front of me. <laughs> Alright, All right, next time? Next time. Next time. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? I am usually, but yeah. Next right. time. Ah! Ah! Alec. Ah! <laughs>